In this tutorial, you will learn how to calibrate the MC1 asphalt paver. To achieve the highest precision, we recommend you to calibrate your MC1 solution every time you have moved the machine to a new job site or when you pave a new layer thickness. You need the following tools to complete this task. A compatible total station with the MC app. The login password. You may need to ask your local selling unit how to get this password. Let's get started. You need to place the machine on a hard and flat surface. We recommend doing it on site so that the machine and masts stay assembled on the transport between calibration and production site. We recommend contracting the hydraulic screed extensions to the minimum width. This is, of course, only valid for hydraulic extensions and not for fixed width extensions. Now, take wooden blocks with the same height as the thickness of the layer you plan to pave. Please remember to include the compaction effect when you calculate the height. Place these blocks under the screed. It is important now to get the crew to adjust the cylinders in front of the toe arms to set the angle of attack according to the desired paving thickness. When you have positioned the screed precisely as it will be under production, you can adjust the masts into a vertical position. You can use a spirit level for this. You need to measure six points on the rear of the screed. Screed left. Screed right. Cylinder left. Cylinder right. Left mast. Right mast. Let's have a closer look. For SL and SR, it is important to aim the total station at the very lowest spot on the corner of the screed. Select the prism type reflectorless. For CL and CR, we recommend you to aim for the center of the joint. Select prism type reflectorless. For LM and RM, set the prism type to MPR122 and let the total station lock to it. Let's bring in the total station. In this example, we are using an ICR80. Position it approximately 10 meters behind the paver with a clear line of sight to all six points. Important! For this job, you only need leveling the total station to get relative position on the target, so there is no need to set up in local or job site coordinates. When the Bluetooth antenna is in the upright position and you have leveled the total station, turn it on and press the MC app. Now, go to the machine control panel. Here we will create a machine profile. Note, you only need to create a machine profile for the very first calibration of the machine. We start in the run screen. Press Main Menu. Press Machines. Press New. In Machine Type, select Asphalt Paver. In this exercise, we use Fugler 2100 3 with Navitronic Plus. In Machine Brand, select Fugler. In Machine Model, select 2100-3. Navitronic is pre-selected. In this exercise, we leave the machine name as default. Press the flag to save and store. Press OK. You can see the menu structure is now slightly different. Before you can calibrate, you need to pair the panel and the total station. Press Positioning. Open the Total Stations menu. 
WordPress communication model. In this exercise, we select the CR30S modem. Press OK. Press New. When scanning has completed, select the total station. Go to the next page. We recommend to always name your total stations and to use color codes for the names. It is then easier to distinguish total stations marked by colors from a long distance. Here we name it blue. Press the flag to save and store. Press OK to finish. Press the X to go to the run screen. Press Main Menu. Press Machines. Select the paver. As you see, the machine status is uncalibrated. Press Calibrate. It is important that your slope sensor arrangement is correct and your machine is on a hard and flat surface and will not move before you have finished. Go to next page. Select Measure with Machine Calibration. Go to next page. For this exercise, we select two masts. Go to next page. Because we are calibrating a dual mast machine, both masts are active and therefore we select both masts in slope sensor arrangement. Go to next page. You do the rest of the calibration on the total station. On the total station, you are in MC App. Press on the toolbox. Select Machine Dimensions. Important, select Reflectorless as Prism Type. We recommend turning laser on to make it easier to see where you aim on the screen. Now manually aim your total station at screen left and press Measure. If you have any doubt about what to measure next, please look at the machine control panel. The panel will guide you with pictures and updates every time you measure a new point. Manually aim your total station at screen right and press measure. Manually aim your total station at cylinder left and press measure. Manually aim your total station at cylinder right and press measure. Go to the next step to measure the masts. Select MPR 122 as the prism type. Make sure you turn off the laser before you proceed. Manually aim the total station at left mast and press measure. The total station will automatically lock on the prism before measuring. Manually aim the total station at right mast and press measure. The total station will automatically lock on the prism before measuring. You have now completed all the measurements. Go to next step. We will finish the procedure on the MCP80 panel on the machine. On the machine's control panel, go to next page. Here you can see all of our dimensions. Note, these dimensions shown here are from a simulator and not from a real machine. Go to next page. Put a check mark in the Reset Mast Slope Sensors to 0%. Press the flag to save and store. Press OK. The status will now display the timestamp of the latest calibration of this machine. That's it. You have now learned how to calibrate your MC1 asphalt paver and are ready to import a design file and go paving.